so in this video we are discussing about various therapeutic antibodies the therapeutic antibodies we have can be used in the various autoimmune uh, diseases and there are various other applications of the therapeutic antibodies so in the autoimmune diseases we are using the adalimumab infrizumab eculizumab guselcumab and zekizumab uh, uh, sekinumab um, natalizumab uh, stekinumab and vedolizumab so these are the various uh, therapeutic antibodies we used in the autoimmune diseases and the various other applications are um, denosumab imisuzumab omalizumab fali palivizumab so these are the various uh, therapeutic antibodies that are used in the um, body now let us talk about the adalimumab and infizumab so the target of those um, therapeutic antibodies are the soluble tumor necrosis factor alpha so the clinical use of those um, therapeutic antibodies are inflammatory bowel disease rheumatoid arthritis ankylosing spondylitis and psoriasis so before using this type of um, therapeutic antibodies you should screen a patient for tuberculosis due to the risk of reactivation the eculizumab targets the complement protein 5 and the eculizumab is used in the paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria the guselcumab uh, targets the interleukin 23 and it is used in the psoriasis the zekizumab and the sikokinumab targets the interleukin 17a and it is used in the psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis the natalizumab uh, targets the alpha 4 integrin so it is used in the multiple sclerosis and crohn's disease the alpha 4 integrin is mainly associated with the wbc addition so there is the risk of pml in the patient with the jc virus istekinumab uh, targets the interleukin 12 and interleukin 23 the clinical use of this therapeutic antibody is used in the psoriasis and the psoriatic arthritis the vedolizumab targets the alpha 4 integrin so it is used in the inflammatory bowel disease so the notes you should use is that there is got specific anti integrin preventing migration of the leukocyte to the gastrointestinal tract the denosumab uh, targets the rankel so the various clinical uses of denosumab are the osteoporosis which inhibits the osteoclast maturation which mimics the osteo uh, protectin so imisizumab targets the factor 9a and 10 it is used in the hemophilia a it is bi specific and mimics the factor 8 The omalizumab targets the immunoglobulin E. Uh, the, it is used in the refractory allergic asthma and it prevents the IgE binding to the Fc receptor. The palivizumab uh, targets the RSVF protein. The clinical use of the palivizumab is the RSV prophylaxis for the high risk infant. So we discuss about the various uh, therapeutic antibodies that are used in our body and there are various clinical uses. I hope you understood this um, video on the. therapeutic antibodies that are used on the various autoimmune diseases and various other application of the therapeutic antibodies thank you